a very good morning to everyone so let's start with today's topic and the today's topic is python variables so before going with the actual serious programming we'll try to learn with the basics and the foremost basic topic is the variables because variables are very important factor of any programming language so what is variable a variable is a container or you can say it's a storage area to hold the data because whatever you perform uh, you perform on data so all the operations all the logics and everything is performed on data so we need to have some container that holds the data and that containers contains the memory location so you can say the variable is a name that is used to refer to a memory location and python variable is also known as identifier and that is used to hold the value so you can say a python variable is just like a variable in other programming language which is used to hold the data and it contains a memory location so now python is case sensitive you need to take care while you are creating variables so you need to take care that python is case sensitive for example yeah, there are two examples one is num where n u m is all in running cases and another variable where n is capital so in python it is clearly two different variables where num is representing 5 and capital num it is representing 55 so you need to take care while writing your and declaring your um, variables right so python variables are case sensitive so there are some rules and regulations for creating variables it's not like that you can create any uh, name or anything so you need to take care these points before creating or declaring any variable so what is this a variable name must start with a letter or the underscore a variable name cannot start with a number or any other special character like dollar parenthesis asterisk and so on a variable name can only contain alphanumeric characters means it can contains any letter from a to z or 0 to 9 or underscore other than these allowed characters no other characters are allowed to include in the name of your variable so python variable names are case sensitive as we have already discussed name and name these are the two examples are different variables in python now python reserved keywords cannot be used for naming the variable like we know that every programming language has some reserved keywords so python also has some reserved keywords so you cannot use those keywords to make your variables some examples of valid uh, identifiers that is a 1 2 3 underscore n n underscore 9 etc and some invalid identifier like we have discussed the python variable cannot start with a number so 1a is not allowed n percentage 4 is not allowed n space 9 these are not allowed so what are allowed allowed is alphanumeric characters a to z 0 to 9 and underscore these combination of letters can be used for naming python variables so moving on variable references the it is one of the important thing that uh, a variable in python is object means python is highly object oriented programming language means if you are creating num equal to 5 in this example num equal to 5 so here num is a object of integer class whose value is 5 it is not a simple data type it is an object type so in python all data types are are types of classes so whatever variable you are creating the variables are known as object of the python class so uh, let's move on to some examples that we are going to execute in our jupyter id so see num equal to 5 and num equal to 5 we have num and num let's print it and let's see what's happening first of all i am keeping it simple let's execute it so once i executed you see the 5 and 55 now let's make it and we see uh, we have assigned 55 to num maybe it it can work but if you see if you execute let's num equal to 5 num equal to 
and uh, no uh, the uh, that you can see uh, again it's assignment so let's keep it simple these are the two variables you have seen we have when we have kept it num uh, what is the effect you have see the num is reassigned to 55 so it is there and if you keep it num then you will see that these two are the different numbers so different objects now uh, let us print the type of num let's see what it is giving output so you see once you give the type of num you will see class int you can clearly see that this num is a variable of class integer so this num is basically an integer object so let's see I have kept it another variable num and I am taking it at 55.5 .5. okay and again let's see what is happening with this variable which I have taken as a float so once I execute it you will see class int and class float so we can clearly see that the Python variables are not only values they are objects so whatever the values you are assigning to an object the data type the class will be assigned to that particular variable now there is some concept of IDEs ID like Python variables are symbolic name that is reference or pointer to an object for example if you write a equal to 50 so somewhere in memory location there 50 will be stored and a has the reference of that memory location right again if you write a equal to 50 and b equal to a so 50 will be there in the memory location and the reference of that is address of that variable 50 will be assigned to a and assigned to b in this case the ID ID of A and B will be same because they are referencing to the same memory location and if you reassign like you reassign B to 100 so A will be a different object and B will be a different object so what is their object identity as I said every created object identifies uniquely in Python and Python provides guarantee that no two objects will have the same identifier so here is ID function you can see clearly ID function is used to identify the object identifier for example if I write a equal to 50 B equal to a and if I try to print ID of a and ID of B so both a and B are having the same ID because they are referencing to the same pointer same location and if you assign a equal to 500 and you print print ID a you will check the ID of a variable so you will find that the ID of this a variable is changed because the 500 is stored at some other location and a is having the pointer of that location so a and b will be different let's see an example to just check whether whatever we are discussing is true or not see here we have a equal to 50 and b equal to a and now I execute it and say what is happening so see once I execute a equal to 50 b equal to a I printed ID of a and ID of B you clearly see that the ID of these two objects are same because they are referencing to the same location now we reassign it let's see we have reassigned it a equal to 500 and then let's execute it so once I executed after reassignment you can clearly see the ID of a is changed because 500 is assigned on some other memory location so ID of A is changed right now A equal to 20 B equal to 30 let's see what is happening now you can see A is assigned a variable 500 it has different ID then A is reassigned 20 it has got different ID and B equal to 30 it is having different ID so if two variables are referencing to the same location their IDs will be same and if they are referencing to the different location then their ID will not be same so this was all about creating Python variables so let us revise 
and see what we have learned today so a python variable is a container that holds the data python is a case sensitive language lower case and uh, upper cases are different python must variable must start with a letter or underscore you cannot give any other character other than a to z 0 to 9 and underscore python variables are case sensitive and the reserve keyword cannot be used as naming the variables these are some allowed identifiers and invalid identifiers python every single values are objects whether it is integer it is for float it is string or any other data type as python is object oriented programming language so all the variables you have created are the object types and if you assign a variable to a value the value is referenced by that variable if you assign two variables with same value they will refer to the single location their id will be same if you reassign re a value then their ids will be different so that's all for today we'll come and learn the next topic very soon till then thank you so much we'll see you soon